Fred, Harvard graduate, magna cum laude, um, overqualified for the role of gopher. Brilliant guy, and we wrote some of the scripts. The one we were most proud of was with Scatman Crothers. There's a black studies major, a girl who comes on, Vernay Watson, and she sees Scatman, who's making a living selling peanuts and popcorn at the, at the ballparks. And she has disdain for him because he's pulling down the whole black experience by selling the stuff at the ballpark. He's not, he's not having a job like a, like a doctor or a lawyer or, or something on, on a high level. And she finds, and she has a romance with, with, uh, uh, with uh, Ted. So we wrote this script, and she has this line where she's supposed to say, Ted and she are out on deck at night. Stars, it's a beautiful night at sea. And she's supposed to say, he says, this is such a beautiful night. And she's supposed to say, our ancestors made the crossing below decks in chains and never got to see any of this. A very poignant line that we wrote. So instead, she says, our ancestors made this crossing. Wait, stop. Your ancestor, I had to stop it because it was incorrect. I said, I said, sweetheart, your ancestors didn't go to Acapulco. They were pulled out of their lives into slavery. So she got it straightened up. But as a writer, sometimes you can get really emotional about this. One change of one line can change the whole meaning of everything. So she understood what, what the deal was. And Teddy was very happy with that. We wrote it for Ted because he was getting the short end of, of writing. So, uh, Did you find that because he was African American that he would get the short end of writing? That he certainly felt that, that he couldn't, in the beginning, he couldn't greet the, uh, the passengers as they were entering. He had, a, he had a tough time in the beginning, but he fought his way through. He wanted to direct. They wouldn't let him direct. They wouldn't let him direct. They wouldn't. Eventually, because he kept coming at them, they let him direct. He turned out to be one of the very best directors ever. He got it done on time. He was very, uh, he was very good with, with everybody. Very good with, with everybody. He got, it, he got it done. When you would write stories for The Love Boat, <clears throat> The Love Boat had such a, a specific format to it yeah. in <clears throat> that it, every guest would start with a greeting. They'd end with disembarking. And then in between, there would be you know, a certain number of beats of their scene. Was, was it a particular challenge to write a Love Boat script? Well, the, the, the formula, it was certainly formulaic, was that people would come on. Some people would come on with a, with, with a problem, like um, a, a, a husband and a wife would come on, and they were fighting. But we had what we called the page 58 resolutions. Like Tom Bosley came on and he was paralyzed. Page 58, he scoots up. He stands up. What happened? It's a miracle. And that covered everything. <laughs> um, but that's what it was. I mean, it never pretended to be cutting edge drama. It was a romantic fantasy where they were Everything ended up fine. And um, that's what it was. And the whole thing started with this lovely lady, Geraldine Saunders, who I became very close to. She was a cruise director. This started the whole thing. She was a cruise director, and she jotted down the captain and his uh, little quirks and the doctor, and he was uh, chasing the ladies. And the this and the that, and she she and she wrote this book called *The Love Boats* with an S at the end. And Bud Baums, who was a friend of uh, of Doug Kramer, he brought it to Doug Kramer. Doug Kramer thought it'd be a good idea. He brought it to uh, Aaron Spelling, and that was the beginning of our gigantic adventure 
where the cruise industry not only prints us, but the cruise industry is still benefiting in general uh, from, from our show. Because we, we showed people that cruising is very easy. You pack and unpack once, the world comes to you, and it's simple and it's relatively inexpensive. And that was my pitch for Princess.